been what like two days since my last video I have you know the dog out here got Bray with me he's part of our fam anyway my kids are out here hanging out talking chilling so you might hear them in the background so how's everyone doing are we doing great today I uh, don't have too much of an update I wanted to just touch base really quick as far as the housing situation we are moving through the application process and and everything is coming along it's coming together but I think for the safety and privacy of my family I don't think it's best or safe to update in real time as each like step progresses obviously I've showed you guys that I've applied to houses that I don't have any um, criminal records as far as a felony I was a once charged with a felony and then it was reduced and taken off because of um, because my charges were um, what's the word reduced I was charged with two things misdemeanor and a felony and the judge removed the felony and so you can be charged with something but not convicted of it so I was charged with a felony yes I was but I was not convicted of it. And so I think there's a lot of misunderstanding with that, but that's okay, I completely understand. Um, so, you know, you guys know I'm, I've applied for the houses, I went through the application process. That's, you know, the general area of where we're at in that process. I just think, you know, my kids are the most important thing to me out of all of this. And I think that for their safety and their privacy, I should not be giving step-by-step -step updates. I'm gonna give updates periodically. I just wanna get them into the home and safe. Just know that we are doing good. The family is getting better. Obviously, the donations keep coming in and I truly appreciate it, it's helping. It was really hard. It was really hard to continue to not only mask what I was going through, but to continue maintaining a normal life, which is why the kids went trick-or-treating. They got their costumes. I wanted to maintain a normal life so that nothing changed for them in the weeks that we were dealing with this. And in the weeks we were dealing with this, we were doing everything we could on our end to try to get a house, you know, without any help. And then when it got down to, oh, this credit card debt, this seems like we're not gonna be able to achieve this in the time frame that we need. So that's when I turned to GoFundMe. And you know, if it was just me and Mike, I wouldn't care. I, we could sleep on the streets of Baltimore. I wouldn't care, we could sleep under a bridge. I would not care. It is the children and the dog that is the most important um, priority. That, that is why we're doing this. Now, I'm not the first person to get into severe credit card debt. I'm not gonna be the last, but I think the important thing is to learn from this. If you don't have the money to buy something, you just don't buy it. You just have to learn that. And when you get one card, you're like, oh, that's only like, I could buy this and like a $10 payment. You get into another card, you get into another card and it happens. And then you just sit there and you pay your bills, but it's just, it, it becomes overwhelming. And you know, I. I the reason that I'm so honest on my channel is because I know, for one, that no one is perfect. And so I came to my channel and I know some people go, why do you share your whole life, like every bit of your business, all of your business? It's because I want you guys to know that I'm flawed, that I'm not a cookie cutter, picture perfect person, and to learn from my mistakes. Because I want someone, if they come across my channel and they're newly 18 years old, or they're 20 and they don't have a card, they go, holy crap, I don't wanna be like that woman. You know what I mean? So many people reach out to me and said, you know, you can do this for your credit cards and debt forgiveness and consolidation. I'm an imperfect person. And I just wanna thank everyone who's donated, everyone that continues to donate. Uh, I, If I haven't gotten back to your comments, I will. I have multiple social media outlets and emails and texts and phone calls and comments through YouTube, Facebook, you know, Instagram, TikTok, like all of these different avenues of people giving me advice through many different ways, financial advice and um, housing advice. And so it's really hard. And you guys know I struggle with anxiety. And on my normal basis, I have a hard time responding to my regular subscribers, but I've been trying to make a point to respond to each and every comment. So if 
I've hearted your comment. It's at least me showing that I've acknowledged it. I see it. Thank you. I appreciate your comment. And then once a day in the mornings when I'm drinking my coffee, I've been trying to make a goal to go through and answer as many comments as I can. So that's where we're at. We're in the application stages and we're working on it and everything's going smoothly with that. But my goal is to keep them, my kids safe and protect their privacy. So I don't want to do anything that jeopardizes their new home by oversharing something. So I just, I hope everyone understands and will, you know, respect that. So yeah, that, that is kind of the update with the house. Um, and uh, I'm just appreciative. I'm so appreciative of everything. You know, I've had uh, subscribers email me or Facebook message me and, you know, tell me, you know, they've been watching my channel for one, some of them from the beginning of my anti-mommy vlogger days and just on a more positive level have improved. They've seen that, they've seen, you know, the spark come back into me. And that's like what my mom says. I, I still make mistakes. I'm still a flawed individual. I had a subscriber of mine, you know, tell me that, you know, they think of me as like a friend and that they lay there and listen to my videos. And, you know, a lot of, some of my subscribers are disabled or older or can't get out and they see the world through me but just going to like the spirit halloween even though that was a struggle for me there are a lot of my subscribers who can't get out to a spirit halloween store so it was kind of neat for them to see that i have a lot of subscribers who struggle with anxiety and just seeing me do exposure therapy and you know get the therapy that i need uh to succeed and seeing me go one or two streets over it has inspired them to try to get out and to seek help and treatments. You know, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing to see people say, you've changed my life. Just listening to your stories. A lot of my subscribers, you know, relate to the teenage shenanigans. And I had someone on one of my videos had commented about my grandmother and her sisters singing um, the song Sisters. And hearing the Baltimore accent was comforting to them. And I have a lot of home videos that I would love to share with you all and clips of more clips of my family and my brother and I and my parents together and more photos of my parents. And I'm really excited to show you guys more of the, you know, softer side of my family. You know, I, I'm just so happy that I can help people and inspire people and show people that it's okay to make mistakes and, you know, it's okay to be flawed. It's okay to not be perfect, you know we're all human and you know you can change your life around some of the worst people in life can still change their life you just have to take one step at a time and make one change at a time yes it can be overwhelming for me to get all you know all the advice and do this and you know you get conflicting advice do this with your credit cards don't do that no do this do that and so I've been uh, making it a point to take a little journal, a little notebook, and I've been writing down all the advice I've been getting and categorizing it by finances, housing, um, and safety and privacy, because I've had a lot of people advise me if I wanna continue having a vlogging channel, which I will, because this is what I enjoy doing, and I don't want that to go away. My family knows that this isn't what I enjoy doing, and my family enjoys me doing it, you know? I have just found ways to prevent any any harm going my family's way as much as i i love having these little sit down and talks and you know people tell me you're like my friend i think of you like a little sister i think of you like a daughter because some of my subscribers are older and they're like my mom's age and so many people have emailed me and messaged me and said i like you because you're real you are authentic you tell it how it is. As much as it's embarrassing to tell people some of the things you've done, you just go out there and you say it and you always have evidence of everything you say. I always have things popping up on the screen next to me when I'm telling people stuff. And some people think that that is oversharing and, and I appreciate and respect their opinion and I appreciate my subscribers that say I like that because like, I'm, you're talking to me like a friend. That was my goal of my channel. I wanted people to be able to sit there and feel as if they're sitting there with their friend having a cup of coffee and just chatting. I am really concerned for the safety and privacy of my family at this point. I'm gonna have safety measures in place. But you live and you learn and when you, and my friend Anne has a YouTube channel, Just Anne, Just Anne's World. She always says, when you know better, you do better. 
and I know better now. I have had a very hard lesson in life and I want to share that journey without the expense of my family's privacy so that I can help others not have this happen to them. I, if I film, I'm buying backdrops. So if I film in my home, in my room, like you won't even see my bedroom. You won't see my bed, you won't see the window, you won't see the layout. It'll be like a backdrop of some sort behind me so that it um, conceals what my house looks like. I have to keep my family safe. If I wanna continue on YouTube, I wanna keep my family safe and so, a lot of people have given me helpful tips and pointers on how to continue a blogging channel safely without the expense of my family's privacy. So that is that. I am at a thousand, you know, thousand subscribers. I'm really proud of that. That was that's an awesome accomplishment. Uh, you know, I, I did not think in a million years that one person would subscribe to me, let alone over a thousand people. So, you know, thank you. Thank you everyone that has subscribed to me. I truly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. What's your guys' favorite Thanksgiving food? It's hard for me, because I'm round, you know, I like food. <laughs> My favorite Thanksgiving food would have to be the turkey, of course. The turkey is the big show. You know, I've watched the Thanksgiving Day Parade, Tom the Turkey, so we always call our turkey on Thanksgiving Tom. Uh, Tom the Turkey, he's the big show. Uh, I also really like Mike's uh, green bean casserole. Uh, Mike, I don't know how, you, he makes it with just canned green beans. It's not f like fresh green beans. Canned green beans, uh, cream of chicken soup, and you stir it up and you put the f uh, crunchy onions on top. Now I know people add other stuff. My family is pretty basic. They don't like any additives, extras, stuff. My kids started liking my um, sweet potato casserole, which is just sweet potatoes. You know, you boil them, you, you peel them, boil them, cut them. And I put like butter, brown sugar, and vanilla in. And then I put mini marshmallows on top and bake it in the oven. And so it's almost like candied potatoes. <laughs> so, I mean, I like a little bit of everything. Um, but my favorite would have to be the turkey and Mike's uh, green bean stuffing would be my favorite. My kids will tell you it's my mac and cheese, my grandmother's recipe. I know it's controversial. Some people don't like it and that's okay. It's literally just elbow noodles, a block of Velveeta, two sticks of butter and some milk. Um, and you can put that in a casserole dish. I put it in a slow cooker and you know, you just cook it up. And sometimes, I mean, some people can do shredded cheese or crumb topping. That's not what the original recipe calls for, but it's nostalgic, it's nice. My, kid, my kids love that mac and cheese, so they would probably tell you the mac and cheese. In fact, my daughter is here. What, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food, daughter of mine? <laughs> my daughter just said probably the homemade mac and cheese. That's what I thought. Like, you know, that's what they, they like. <laughs> it's their favorite. And we also do, um, you know, we do turkey and ham. Or stuffing. And, or stuffing. The kids like the stuffing. She said, or the stuffing. But, uh, yeah, that would be my favorite, would be the turkey and the uh, Mike's, home, uh, Mike's green bean casserole. And so what else could, the questions could I ask? What's your least favorite uh, food? So my least favorite Thanksgiving day food is cranberry sauce. We don't buy it because no one eats it. And I know it's controversial because some people like it and it gets hated on Thanksgiving because it's gross. In my opinion, I don't like it, but I respect you all if you don't, if you like it. I'm not going to yuck someone's yum. I just don't like it. Do you guys have any plans? If you don't feel comfortable sharing, that's okay. What are your, some of your guys' family traditions on Thanksgiving? Uh, ours is, because our family's gotten low, you know, small and small as each family member has passed away, we have very little family members that we have left. And the one, some of the ones that we have left are more like, you know, in different states and live on their own and they do their own thing. But when I was a kid, we would go to my grandmother's, my mother's mom, and we would pile into her little townhouse. We would, uh, have Thanksgiving dinner there. Some of our traditions is the past few years we've done, we call it a week of Thanksgiving because Mike usually works on Thanksgiving. You know, as our kids have gotten older, they're here, he's here for them, but you know, it's time for him to let the other families spend time with their families. Like Mike always was off on Thanksgiving to spend time with us when my kids were littler and younger and everyone covered his shift. So now that as my kids are getting older and you know, it's, I'm not saying it's not as important, but he's now been the one covering all the other people's shifts because we had kids much younger than a lot of his employee, like his employees. So now that their kids are little and toddlers, 
they want to spend time with their kids after they've covered Mike's shift all those years. So now it's Mike's turn to cover all those shifts. And my kids are older, and we're not really doing big Thanksgivings. So what we've been doing is a week of Thanksgiving where we buy all the stuff to make on Monday. We spend all night and day cooking on Monday. And then we, we make things so we have enough for, like, the whole week. But then we buy double of things. So we'll buy, like, like three or four packs of rolls so that... You know, we'll make one pack of rolls, and then when that's out, that day we just have to make more rolls. Or we'll do a th one thing of green bean casserole, and when that's gone by like Tuesday or Wednesday, then we'll make another thing of green bean casserole. And so that by Thursday, there's no cooking. No one has to cook. All we just have to do is just replenish the things that we run out within the week. So we do a week's Thanksgiving. And as you guys know that I live with my mom, it's me, my mom, Mike, and the kids, and Brady, and we just have spent a week eating food and watching Christmas movies and Thanksgiving movies and then on Thanksgiving we can eat food it's all done and we can watch the parade and no one's in the kitchen stressed out or cooking and when Mike's at work like all the food is done it's it's great so we do a week's of Thanksgiving that's like our plan <laughs> that's our tradition is a week Thanksgiving Thanksgiving all week long and I know that some, that might be controversial to some people but that's what we do that you know who says you have to have Thanksgiving on the you know, Thanksgiving Day. The heck with that. One time we celebrated Christmas, I think the day after Christmas, I watched all my friends post pictures of Santa coming and, you know, Santa getting all the kids gifts and Mike had to work. And so we wanted him to be there when the kids opened their gifts. So we just had Christmas on the 26th, said the 25th. And the kids had no idea it wasn't Christmas, you know? Who says you can't have, you know, the holidays on, the, like, a different day than the actual holiday, you know? I hope everyone's doing great. I hope you all are having a great day. I just want to say how truly blessed I am. Sorry, I'm getting cold in my forehead itches. I'm truly blessed. I'm truly blessed and thankful for all of my continued support and my supporters and my subscribers and just following me on my journey and it can only go up from here. And I'm very hopeful, positive, and thankful for that. And I have made mis mistakes. And if you're looking for a perfect person when you subscribe to my channel, you're not going to find it here. I'm a mess. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I've done a lot of things in my life that I regret. And I can't go back and change time. I can only learn from them and grow and make sure my kids don't make the same mistakes that I've made and you know maybe help other people along for my journey you know um i just want to be real and i think being too real might have jeopardized my privacy and safety and so i just have to learn from that it's okay to be honest with your subscribers and share but you just have to be careful how much information you share because if you share little tidbits it gets pieced together and it can cause um you know undue harm to your family when that wasn't your goal in the first place you know because not everyone has your best interests at heart i'm learning I, it is a learning process and um yeah I just, I'm, I'm glad that you know i'm learning now on my youtube uh journey before i get too many subscribers and now I'll know how to do better. So yeah, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go inside. I'm cold. It is very cold in, out here. I just want to be able to spend the day with my family. That's what I've been doing for the past couple days. Just really trying to spend time with my family. Despite the stress and stuff that we've been going through. Just trying to just keep a positive, happy, open mind here. And um, I just want to thank everybody. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. I wish I could hug every single one of my supporters through the screen. And thank you for your emails. You have no idea when you feel like, what is the point in this channel? What am I doing? How is this helping me or my family? And getting not only, you know, all the positive feedback, but getting emails of people saying, you've changed my life. You have helped me. I'm disabled. I'm in a hospital bed. I can't leave my room. I can't leave my house. Planet. Listening to you talk about your kids and Mike and Brady. And a lot of people love Brady. Brady is like their dog too. Brady, I always joke, he's famous. <laughs> he's he's my little co-host. And everyone goes, how's Brady doing? Like, you still have Brady? It's like, I still have Brady. You know, some of my subscribers feel a part of my family and of my friend. And they're like an extended part of our family. 
And even though no one can see my children and I don't show their faces, people share their journeys and they can hear them. And you know, all the birthday wishes to not only my oldest son when I had posted about his birthday back in August, but my middle son. And uh, everyone just being a part of our extended family is amazing. And you know, I just appreciate you all. So if you've made it this far, you are amazing. You are incredible. Don't let anyone make you feel any less than that. You are amazing. You deserve to be here. You deserve to be on this planet. You are a freaking awesome person. And I will see you in my next video. See you later, alligators.